Rise and shine, Maple Shade, and welcome to today's edition of Wildcat News. Today is Wednesday, June 7th, and on this episode, we've got your trivia winner and a brand new senior memory segment. That's all coming right up, but first, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, un one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. First, yesterday we asked you, how many seniors are there in the class of 2023? The correct answer is 123. This week's winner is Ashton Bowman, who had the closest guest with 125. Ashton, stop by the TV studio to pick up your prize. Attention all students. It is important that you check your school email on a daily basis. School counselors are working on your schedules for next year and will reach out to you through email if there is a conflict with your schedule. The sooner you respond to the email, the greater the chance of the course options. Any questions are to be emailed to your school counselor. There is a mandatory meeting for all 2023-2024 DECA officers tomorrow at 2.15 in room C45. See Mrs. Gallagher with any questions. And if you are interested in playing a fall sport, registration is now open at mshsathletics.org. It is open until August 1st for the high school. What's for lunch? Let's go to Abby to find out. Today for lunch is mac and cheese bowl with a garlic stick. Back to you guys in the studio. You got it. Thanks, Ava. And in Wildcat Sports, the boys and girls track team competed in sectionals last Friday at Pensalkin. Shout out to the following athletes who qualified for the state championships. Freshman Lania Williams threw a personal best and finished third in the shot putt. Here at Roger, you guys ran a personal best to finish sixth. Nate Marvin, Hector Diaz, AJ Centron, and Sean Loomis placed fifth and broke our school records in their event. Carl Rogers placed sixth overall in the high hurdles. Nate Leander and Sean placed fifth in the 4 by 400 And Austin Miller and Charville Patel placed third and fourth, respectively, in the pole vault. Wish all these athletes good luck as they com compete Saturday at the state championships in Franklin, New Jersey. Now, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Joseph Groan, Jaden Hawkins, Diego Lopez, and Cole Peroni. Well, that's all the announcements today. We are going to leave you with another clip from this year's Senior Memories. Today's question is, what's the stupidest thing you got in trouble for? Let's see what some of our seniors had to say. The stupidest thing I have got in trouble for was when Devin threw, I think, a paper at me, and Mrs. Somebody just got, got mad at us, and we both got detention for it. Cutting in, cutting in the lunch line when everyone else d uh, did it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to take my place back in line. And I got in trouble for it. Dumbest thing I ever done in high school, probably, like, I was doing, like, cartwheels off, like, the roof and doing, like, acrobatics. And, like, Mr. Diamond told me to come down. And I just couldn't stop because I was just jumping from house to house. I don't get in trouble in high school. I got in trouble for messing around on Jamboard, but, you know, it wasn't me. It was Flo. His choice thought it was me because I was just, like, you know, trying to tell her to stop. But, yeah, she thought it was me. I was playing Fortnite and Thomas took my 50 part, but I'm not going to go any more than that. The stupidest thing I got in trouble for was, I think it was freshman year, <clears throat> um, I was accused of stealing a teacher's key. I didn't do it. <laughs> Setting off the fume hood alarm. Talking about the cheerleaders in front of a cheerleader. Uh, Yawning in Ms. Wiley's class. <laughs> Probably running the Maple Shade Memes account. That was a... Uh, I think it was up for maybe a week and I got taken down because I decided to post something pretty questionable. Nothing. Too good. Nothing, because I'm just, I'm just like Chase. When I was in online school in Mr. Thompson's class, and I screamed into the mic with a voice changer while watching a movie, and he turns right to Dom in class, and Dom snitches on me immediately. When I printed 30 pictures in the library and was banned for two years. A few weeks back, I got in class because I asked a question, but I got to sit in the office for a whole period in this comfy chair, so back at it, it was kind of worth it. Probably my only detention ever uh, in Mr. Danaski's class when I had AirPods in. Fake sneezing on someone and then fake sneezing on their backpack. During the spring prep rally of my junior year, so it's last year, um, I was, he saw me taking pictures of him in the stands and at the end of it he was like, and I, I, he was like, I was like, me? I was like, yeah, you. And he was like, were you taking pictures of me? I was like, no, sir. And then he was like, were you taking pictures of me? And I was like, 
Yeah. I'm not washing a pot. The stupidest thing I got in trouble for was uh, a careless driving ticket because I drove around a uh, sewer grate because yeah, it was like a pothole and the cop pulled me over. It's pretty stupid. Skipping learn classes um, during my senior year. Probably getting late to class, especially with Mr. Neely. If you're, if you're watching this, Mr. Neely, you always know that you're about to give me lunch detention, Mr. Neely. Having my AirPods into Miss Taylor's class. Never got in trouble. Lie. I was minding my business and like I was sleeping and my teacher was like she she, she got mad so was probably just messing around doing class with somebody and then I got blamed for it when it definitely was not me. Alright, I was in Mr. Lamont's class and I purposely was taking a zero, trying to sleep, get some good sleep, and he woke me up and yelled at me and asked me why I didn't do my work when I told him I, I was happily gonna take a zero. I'd say probably skip and learn that's probably it i got a lunch detention for that for no reason so um i did not get in trouble in high school you know i felt like that was like a junior high thing and when i was a freshman i was like you know high school matters so i'm not gonna like you know fool around i'll just you know have fun do my work and you know just get through high school